discussed about that exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, so we have discussed about the logarithmic and the exponential graph also in our previous class. But some student asked about that uh, exponential and the logarithmic uh, function definition graph and everything. Okay, so first of all, you have to take it as the polynomial function. I am taking my polynomial function is x power n. F n of x means x power n. This is the polynomial function. Okay. Yeah, my both audio and video both are okay for all of us. Audio and video both are okay. Any problem in that? Both audio and video are okay. Are there any problem in that? I hope both are okay for all of you. Right. So I am going to take this. Yeah, thank you. So this is polynomial function. X power n is a polynomial function. So what is my f2 of x? That is x square. My f3 of x, that is x cube. My f power 4 of x, that is x power 4. Okay, my f power 10 of x, that is x power 10. Okay, now see the curve diagram. So see the diagram. So my x power 4 is going like that. Okay. My this is my x power 3. The curve is going like that. My x power 2. It is coming like that. Okay. My x power 10. This is coming like that. So see the curve. This is my y is equal to or f of x is equal to x power 10. This is my y is equal to x power 4. This is my y is equal to x power 3. This is my y is equal to x power 2. Okay, so suppose this is my 1. x is equal to 1, all are reaching that 1. Okay. Right, suppose my x is some 1.5. What is my f of x? This is my f of x. Here for x, x square, y is equal to x square, this is my f of x. For my y is equal to x cube, this is my f of x. For my y is equal to x power 4, this is my f of x. For my y is equal to x power 10, this is my f of x. Okay, so now look at that, my the degree is increasing here the degree is 2 here the degree is 3 here the degree is 4 here the degree is 5 10 so the my power is increasing 2 3 4 10 okay my value of the function is also grows faster look at that the function grows faster that means the value of the function is increasing faster same value of x for x square i am getting this is my y value for x cube i am getting this is my y value okay and for x power 4, uh, this is my x y value. For x power 10, this is my y value. This is okay. So, the for same value of x, then my polynomial function is getting grows faster if the degree is higher. If my degree is increasing from 2, 3, 4 up to 10 or more, more than 10, my value of the function is grows faster. Okay, right. Now come to that, the another function. Suppose look at that, my another function coming like that. So this is my y is equal to some b power x or 10 power x. Okay, so look at that. What is the difference between these two? This is my y is equal to x power 10. This is my y is equal to 10 power x. 
okay what is the difference between these two sir so now look at that my f of x is uh, f of 10x f of 10x is x power 10 that is a polynomial function that is a polynomial function okay my f of x my f of x is equal to 10 power x this is called it as my exponential function okay now look at that this exponential function is now the value of x is 1.5 look at that my 10 power 10 power 1.5 okay the same value of x x square i'm getting by way of y value f of x value here and x cube here and for my x is equal to 1.5 my x cube value f of x is here my x power 10 value here but my 10 power x value here for the same x value see that so the increasing of the 10 power x grows faster than this polynomial function x power 10 for large x values okay so therefore from the graph we can understand my exponential function grows faster than the polynomial function that means my f of x that is exponential function okay grows faster than my polynomial function fn of x okay so for example suppose let us take it as my x is equal to some 10 power 3 okay what is my f10 of polynomial function i am applying that so here i am taking my x is equal to 1.5 suppose i am taking for large value of x x power uh, x is equal to 10 power 3 that means 1000 uh, it is 10,000. Okay. So therefore, my f10 of x, uh, it is 1000 only. 10 square is 100. 10 cube is 1000 only. So therefore, this is 10 cube. F, f10 of 10 cube. What is my f10 of 10 cube? So this is my 10 cube power 10. What is my 10 cube power 10? 10 power 3 into 10. That is 30. Okay, right. My x is equal to 10 q means what is my exponential function? See that my exponential function f of x is 10 power 3. This is 10 power 10 power 3. Okay, so this is 10 power 3 is 1000. Okay, now look at the difference between these two. The same x value, x value is same, but what about the function value? Look at the function value here 10 power 30 only. But look at the function value here. The function value is 10 power 1000. Okay, look at the difference between these two values for same x value. Okay, so that means your f of x is exponential function grows faster than fn of x for positive large x values. When my x is greater than 1, my f of x is grows faster. That means f of x taking the uh, uh, bigger value compared to that fn of x polynomial function. So even polynomial, if I'm taking the degree of the polynomial is increasing higher, my f of x is increasing, but that exponential function is increasing this polynomial function also then. Okay, my exponential function is increasing than this polynomial function x over 10. Okay, so therefore this exponential function is then a very uh, interesting uh, increasing function tremendous increasing when you take the small value of when you change that small value of x okay the uh, difference between that uh, y value is also uh, very big okay so that means that it is increasing faster and faster and faster my f of x is exponential function is increasing faster and faster and faster than the exponential uh, than the polynomial function is it okay Right, now come to that, the definition of exponential function. What is the definition of exponential function, sir? My exponential function definition is the exponential function with the positive base with positive base b greater than 1. This is b base is a positive but always greater than 1. Okay, is the function 
y is equal to b power x. This is my exponential function, b power x. b may be any value that is called as a base. Okay, any positive value but greater than one also. No, not, don't take it as one. Because one power anything, it is one only, it is a constant function. So we never get an increasing function, we never get an interesting function. Okay, so if you take b is greater than one, Okay, if you take b is less than one also, it is a decreasing function. So therefore b greater than one only, we are getting the increasing function. Therefore we are taking positive base with b is greater than one. Okay, right. Now this is the graph of the exponential function. Okay, so what is the range and domain of exponential function? What is the range and domain, uh, domain and range? So domain of exponential function. What is my domain? Domain means for every x value, the function is defined. See that if you take any x value, the function f of x is defined. Okay, so therefore the function defined for every x value in our real number. Okay, so therefore the real number is my domain because the function is defined for all the real numbers. Okay. The function is defined for all the real numbers. So therefore my domain of exponential function is R only. Right, come to the range of the function. What is my range of the function? Range of exponential function. Okay, my range of exponential function is the collection of y values. Look at that. When you take x is minus infinity, it is nearly zero. This function, look at that, this curve is not meet that x-axis. It is going very near to x-axis. Not equal to zero, but it is very near to zero. Okay, so therefore my range of the function is open interval zero comma infinity or r plus. Set of all positive real values. Okay, don't include zero. Right, so therefore this is the range of the exponential function. See the diagram, from the diagram we can easily understand the domain and range of the function. Okay, right. So if I am taking my b is equal to two, what is my exponential function? My exponential function is two power x. If I am taking my base is equal to three, what is my y? 3 power x. If my taking b is equal to 10, what is my y? 10 power x. Okay, so if my base is 10, okay, if my base is 10, this exponential function is called as common exponential function. This is common exponential function. Okay, so why you are taking only 2, 3, 10, Integers only, sir. We can't take it as for 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. So look at that. My b is the positive real number greater than 1. Any real number. Positive real number greater than 1. Any real number. You can take it as. You can take it as 1.1. You can take it as 1.5. You can take it as not an integer. You can take any value. Suppose I am going to take it as my b is equal to e. Irrational number. So what is irrational number, sir? What is E, sir? E is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial, and etc. The sum of the series. The series like 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial. You take the sum. This entire series is represented. This entire series is represented in some form some symbol. This entire series represented in some symbol. That symbol is called it as E. Okay, and what is the value of the function? Value of this term, this series. Okay, you know the arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic progression, like that. This is called as a series. We have a formula to add this type of series. Okay, we have a formula for adding that uh, this term, infinite number of terms. This adding up some infinite number of terms are called as series. Okay, we can easily find out the value. So this is a different chapter. How to find out how to simplify. You just take the value of this, this sum. 
the value of this entire sum is 2.781 okay so that's what this is also one this is also one two this is 0 0.5 2.5 .5, and i'm something adding so finally i will get 2.781 this is an irrational number that is this is an approximate value only this approximate value we are taking uh, we are representing by some symbol that symbol is called it as my e my e is called it as my irrational number okay right suppose i am taking base is equal to e what is my y my y is e power x if i am if i am taking b is equal to 2 my y is 2 power x if I am taking this e is a natural number 2.781 means that 2.71 power x is that y is equal to e power x is called it as my exponential function. Okay, right. So please try to understand an important point. If my base is 10, then this exponential function is called it as common exponential function. This exponential function is called it as common exponential function. Okay. If my base is e, then the function is called it as natural exponential function. Okay. Are you clear? If you have any doubt, please ask your doubts. Once if you completed means we'll go to the next slide. Okay. So now look at that. If my base is equal to 10 okay so then y is equal to 10 power x is called as common exponential function okay if my base is equal to e that is an irrational number then y is equal to e power x is called as natural exponential function okay if my b is equal to e then y is equal to e power x is called as natural exponential function okay now come to that logarithmic come to that logarithmic uh, functions what is logarithmic function so my logarithmic function my logarithmic function is an inverse of exponential function this is an inverse of exponential function okay what is my exponential function see that my exponential function exponential function is a function okay defined from oh, look at the domain and uh, range of the function domain and range it is not given Ah, domain and range domain of the function is real number and range of the function is r plus so therefore this domain of the function is real numbers and range of the function is r plus this is my exponential function what is the inverse of this function how to define the inverse of this function g s inverse of f means how to define it so define from range function to this domain okay so therefore my logarithmic function is defined as r plus 2 set of all real numbers r okay so okay how to define that so let 
my y is equal to b power x then my logarithmic function is log base b of this y equal to x this is my logarithmic function this is defined as the logarithmic function of this exponential function the inverse of this exponential function is defined as log base this y is equal to b power x then log base b of y equal to x this is my logarithmic function my logarithmic function is defined from logarithmic function which is base b is a function defined from r plus 2 r this is this is my g g is the inverse of the f what is my f f is the exponential function so therefore my logarithmic function is defined by r plus 2 r by my log b of y i am taking any value from this r plus y the value of this log base of y is equal to some x okay so therefore this is my logarithmic function logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function that's all okay any doubts if you have any doubt you please ask your doubts otherwise we will go to the next slide okay so what is exponential function exponential function is the uh, based on the uh, uh, polynomial function we are defining that exponential function your polynomial function is x power 10 then we can define as 10 power x if the my polynomial function is x power n here i am defining n power x that is b power x that is a exponential function okay so this is a faster grow function compared to the polynomial function it is grows faster than polynomial function okay and i am i am defining defining that inverse of this exponential function that is called as logarithmic function okay right so here if you are b base is equal to some 10 then my log base 10 of y is equal to x this is called it as this is called as common logarithm function common logarithm function okay if my base is equal to e exponential what is my log base e of y is equal to x is called as natural logarithm function natural logarithm function okay right so your natural logarithm function is denoted as natural logarithm of e base e means natural logarithm function my natural logarithm function of Uh, that is log base e of y is equal to can be written as ln of y ln ln means ln ln of y or otherwise simply log x there if uh, simply log y okay or otherwise you can take it in x log base e of x is equal to ln of x equal to log of x okay please try to understand my log base e of x is called as natural logarithm that is denoted by ln of x and that is denoted by log of x also so where log x is given you please try to understand that is a natural logarithm it is given okay natural logarithm only it is given we have to understood okay Are you clear? So, in my differential calculus and integral calculus, we are going to use this log x only. Please try to understand. Please note this. This is a very important point. Wherever log x is given in differential calculus and integral calculus, throw the chapter, this chapter, and the next chapters. Okay, my log x is nothing but log base e of x or log x, not log base ten. okay not log base 10 not uh, not any other base only the base is e 
okay right because why are you clear shall we move to the next one right now look at that if my if my h is equal to 2 cube okay so this is my exponential function then represent in logarithmic function how to represent in logarithmic function so this is my y is equal to b power x my logarithmic function is log base b of y is equal to x okay if my h is equal to 2 power 3 a represent in logarithmic function what is the log base b base is 2 of this y y is my 8 okay equal to 3 okay suppose i am taking my 1000 10000 so equal to 10 power 4 my 10000 so equal to 10 power 4 represent logarithmic function log base 10 half 10000 Okay, equal to four. Suppose I am representing my six twenty five. My six twenty five is equal to five power four. Representing in logarithm function, log base five of six twenty five. Okay, equal to four. Are you okay? So these are given in exponential function, and here we are converting that exponential function into logarithmic function. Okay, both are same. Both are representing the same meaning. Are you okay? Any other doubt? If you don't have any doubt, means we'll move to the next one. <clears throat> right. So the important properties. Okay. The first one is log of m n. Log m n is equal to log m. Plus log n. Okay. This is for any base b. Okay. And the second one is log of m by n. What is my log of m by n? Log m minus log n. Okay. And the third one. Log of m power n. That can be written as n log m. Okay. And the fourth one, log of base m, base m of n. So therefore, this can be written as log m of some c or some p. Okay. Into log base p of n. Please try to understand. This is log base m of n can be written as log base m of some p, okay, into log base p of this n. If you multiply these two, we are getting this, okay. And the fifth one, that is d by d x of e power x is nothing but e power x. How to prove this? Differentiation of e power x is e power x. Because the all these things you have already studied in your lower lower classes, how to prove this? E power x is e power x. Differentiation of e power x is e power x. Any idea? So this derivative uh, it is given in your eleventh book. How to find out the derivative of x power n? How to find out the derivative of cos x? How to find the derivative of sin x? How to find out the derivative of x square? 
how to find the derivative of e power x the formula uh, it is uh, given in your class and book okay how to find out the derivative if you want the derivative means we will prove that otherwise uh, we take a formula and go to the problems if you want the proof means we will discuss otherwise we will go to the problems right so if you want means you please tell me we will discuss it now the next one is d by dx of some log x what is log x differentiation my log x differentiation is 1 by x you please try to understand exponential differentiation differentiation is e power x log x differentiation is 1 by x based on the formula we can easily prove that are you okay right shall we move to the next right next one is the problems only we are going to discuss about some problems in previous class also we have discussed some problems okay we will continue that problems today so differentiate i think that this problem is not completed in our previous class log x power x plus x power log x we have to differentiate with respect to x how to differentiate so in our previous class also i have told that and a very important point and uh, these two are very important and other these things the graph domain uh, everything a exam point of view it is not important here we never use all these things uh, in our upcoming sections and upcoming chapters only we are going to use in our upcoming chapter and upcoming sec sections we are going to use the derivative of e power x derivative of log x okay so these previous uh, slides are explaining what is e power x what is exponential function what is logarithmic function what is the relation between logarithmic function and exponential function what is the domain and range of exponential and logarithmic these slides are uh, dealing with that uh, exponential logarithmic function but we need only the derivative of e power x derivative of log x okay right now look at here here the power is x is there if the power having some x function and y function definitely you go for logarithmic differentiation okay so first of all you can take it as my y is equal to my y is equal to take this log x power x plus x power log x okay are you okay first of all take the given function is log x power x plus x power log x right now if you taking log on both sides since the power having x x function we have to take log on both sides suppose if you taking log on both sides this log of this function plus this function we don't have a formula for log of m plus n so your log m plus n is not equal to log m plus log n please do uh, understand don't confuse with this formula this formula is different and this formula is different both are not equal okay so if you take this is a function then we have two terms in the right hand side if we have more than one term in the right hand side means don't take log of them directly immediately then what to do sir you can choose the first function as u and my second function as b what is my u and v 
my u and v r my u is equal to log x power x my v is equal to x power log x are you okay right right now differentiate this differentiate with respect to x what we are getting differentiate with respect to x this is my dy by dx equal to du by dx plus dv by dx that is differentiate this with respect to x differentiate this with respect to x differentiate this with respect to x that is nothing but dy by dx equal to du by dx plus dv by dx are you okay right now our aim is we are going to find out my du by dx and dv by dx what is actually u my u is nothing but log x power x how to differentiate power is x function is there we have to taking log on both sides so you now now only you told that sir you don't take log on both sides here because here there are two terms are there okay if if you are taking log on both sides means here you are going to apply this type of formula but we don't have this type of formula but here we have right hand side we have only one term log x power x is the only one term so taking log on both sides taking log of them taking log of them on both sides okay so therefore my log u is equal to log of log x over x okay this is nothing but x into log of log x so please try to understand this x because i am applying this property log m power n is equal to n log m so therefore this x becomes here x log of log x this is my log u now differentiate with respect to e x differentiate with respect to x what is answer what is my log u definition 1 by u du by dx i have already told that log x means 1 by x again you have to differentiate that x x differentiation is 1 but in place of this x any other function is there you have to differentiate again u means differentiate du by dx y means differentiate du by dx x square means differentiate 2x differentiate so therefore here 1 by u du by dx here the differentiation is apply uv formula why sir because this is one function this is entirely another function some students are spitting considering this log alone one function log x is another function log is a symbol symbol for the function log x is the value of the function okay so therefore this is the entirely one function this is entirely one function this is take it as u this is take it as v then differentiate You apply u by u by v formula. Uh, what is u v formula product rule? U dash v plus u v dash. U dash means one log log x. That is u dash v plus u b dash. B dash means this is one by log x log of log x definition. This is considered as x log x. That is one by x into. Okay, log x definition is. 1 by x. Again, you differentiate this log x. 1 by x. This x and this x cancelled. This and this get cancelled. So that's why I will get 1 by log x alone. This is log of log x plus 1 by log x equal to 1 by u du by dx. You bring this u here, right hand side. You will get du by dx. Du by dx into sorry, du by dx equal to u into log of log x plus 1 by log x that is my du by dx i will get that du by dx similarly you have to find out your dv by dx dv by dx means this is you have to differentiate this function with respect to x you will get it dv by dx are you okay yeah please take that
once if you completed we'll go to the next slide if you have any doubt you please send your doubts ask your doubts audio and video both are clear any problem in that students audio and video both are clear any problem in that yes thank you some students are responding okay so now look at that i am going to write it my uh, du by dx my du by dx is nothing but u into log of log x plus 1 by log x what is my u my u is nothing but log x power x my u look at that my u is log x power x so apply that log x power x log of log x plus 1 by log x this is my du by dx okay what is the question the question is differentiate suppose i am taking this is y means the differentiation is dy by dx i am going to find out my dy by dx my dy by dx is nothing but du by dx plus dv by dx i got du by dx this is my du by dx okay so similarly i am going to find out my dv by dx this is after finding dv by dx add du by dx dv by dx that is my du by dx so therefore my v is equal to x power log x let my v is equal to x power log x here also the power having some x function if the power having function of x and y you have to uh, taking log on both sides apply logarithmic differentiation taking log on both sides taking log on both sides so my log b equal to log of x power log x so this is nothing but log x into log x okay so this is my log v okay now differentiate both the sides differentiate with respect to x what is the answer we are getting so the left hand side is 1 by v dv by dx my right hand side is you can apply uv formula otherwise you can take it as log x the whole square what is log x the whole square formula 2 log x this can be written as log x the whole square formula or otherwise you can apply uv formula also this is nothing but 2 log x power 1 into what is log x differentiation that is 1 by x chain rule so therefore this is nothing but dv by dx you bring this v here v into 2 into log x divided by x my v is nothing but x power log x into 2 log x divided by x this is my dv by dx okay now substitute this dv by dx du by dx in your dy by dx my dy by dx is nothing but du by dx plus dv by dx okay my du by dx is nothing but log x power x and log of log x okay plus 1 by log x this is i am writing du by dx log x power x and log of log x plus 1 by log x plus my dv by dx my dv by dx is nothing but this is x log x x power log x and this is 2 into log x divided by x this is the answer for dy by dx Are you okay
you clear any other doubt Shall we move to the next? Okay, come to the next problem. So find dy by dx if cos x power y equal to cos y power x. So if, if this type of problem is asking how to find out dy by dx. Uh, now look at that this side also we have only one function this side also we have only one fun function. Power is also function of y and function of x. If power is having some function of x and y we have to definitely use logarithmic differentiation taking log on both sides and differentiate. Okay. Taking log on both sides. So here from the given one, taking logarithmic on both the sides. Okay, so therefore this is log of cos x power y equal to log of cos y power x. So this will become y log cos x by the third property and this will become x log of cos y. Now differentiate because there is no power x is there y is that we can easily differentiate. Now differentiate with respect to x. So apply uv formula left hand side also apply uv formula. Left hand side also apply uv formula. Right hand side also apply uv formula. Okay. So what is my uv formula? u dash v. u dash means dy by dx. Okay. Into v. v means log cos x. I'm just applying the product rule. dy by dx into cos x plus. Okay. My y, keep it my y as it is. Log cos x differentiation is log cos x is uh, log x differentiation is 1 by x. Therefore, 1 by cos x. Again, you have to differentiate this cos x. Cos x differentiation is minus sin x. Okay, sir, here you are differentiating this y again, but why you are not differentiating this x again? If you differentiate this x again with respect to x, that is one. So therefore, no need to write that. Okay, equal to, come to the right hand side, apply u v dash formula, u dash v plus u v dash. u dash v, u dash means that is one. x differentiation is one v log cos y plus u v dash u is x differentiate this 1 by log cos y differentiation is 1 by cos y cos y differentiation is minus sin y and you have to differentiate this y dy by dx you please try to understand here 1 by cos x cos x differentiation is minus sin x here 1 by cos y cos y differentiation minus sin y. Here the differentiation of x is 1 with respect to x. But here the definition of y with respect to x is dy by dx. You have to write that dy by dx. Don't forget. Okay. Right. Now look at that. What is the question? Find dy by dx. So here we have dy by dx. In this term, we don't have any dy by dx. In this term also, we don't have any dy by dx, but here we have dy by dx. So collect all the dy by dx terms one side. Okay, keep other terms to the other side. Because my question is, look at my question, my question is dy by dx. I'm going to collecting all the dy by dx term one side, and I'm going to uh, collecting all the non dy by dx term to the other side. Okay, so therefore, you collect that my dy by dx 
is if you take dv by dx commonly here what is the answer log cos x this is log of cos x that's all this term over here look at that this is minus x into minus sin y so this minus become to the left hand side it will become plus x into sin y divided by cos y my dy by dx taken commonly here minus x into sin y divided by cos y this minus x into sin y by cos y dy by dx to the left hand side becomes to the left hand side it will become plus i have already taken dy by dx commonly so therefore in these two terms okay if you take dy by dx commonly here the remaining is log cos x here the remaining is minus x sin y by cos y okay so that's equal to the non dy by dx terms here look at that log cos y is there this is log cos y okay what about here here it is minus y into 1 into minus sin x that is minus y into sin x divided by cos x this is y into 1 into minus sin x divided by cos x okay right now why now cos multiply what is the answer we are getting so therefore this is cos x into log cos y minus y sin x whole divided by cos x okay so now what is my dy by dx my dy by dx is nothing but this divided by this here also you can take an lcm cos y cos y into log cos x plus x sin y by cos y okay so now what is the answer we are getting so the left hand side is my dy by dx take the lcm my lcm is cos y log cos x plus x sin y whole divided by this is cos y log cos x plus x sin y by cos y okay equal to right hand side what is my right hand side my cos x log cos y minus y sin x whole divided by cos x my cos x log cos y minus y sin x by cos x now what is the question look at the question my question is only dy by dx okay so therefore this is your dy by dx you keep that dy by dx here and bring it to the this term to the right hand side and then simplify you will get the answer when you bring this term to the right hand side it will becomes the reciprocally cos y divided by cos y log cos x plus x sin y okay please take this are you okay any doubt if you have any doubt you please ask your doubts are you understanding all the steps uv differentiation la taking logarithm and applying logarithmic identity property and then taking uv differentiation both the sides and i am collecting all the dy by dx from one side okay yeah sin y by cos y we can write it as uh, tan y and here also you can yeah here i am writing uh, this is 
taking cross multiplication okay you can write it as sin by cos as tan this is can be written as tan okay and here also sin y by cos y you can write it as tan if you write it as the sin by cos is tan and sin x by cos x is tan x your problem is very simple okay so look at that i am writing that yeah very good my dy by dx equal to what is here log of cos x here log of cos x plus x tan y okay so here log of cos x plus x tan y equal to log of cos y minus y sin x also y tan x sin x by cos x so now you can get the directly dy by dx is log cos y minus y tan x okay divided by log cos x plus x tan y okay you can avoid these steps you can avoid these steps or otherwise this is also correct sir i have written all these things sir i can I write like this sir it is wrong sir no this is also correct okay if you please make uh, keep this dy by dx left hand side and keep all these terms to the right hand side it will become in reciprocal write it in reciprocal that is your answer that answer is also correct both the answers are correct so they never reduce any of the marks because both are correct okay in board exam they never reduce any marks because both the answers are correct only are you okay are you clear are you understand any other doubts so yesterday we have sent some uh, homework problems you please try to complete the homework problems in the next class onwards uh, i think today you don't have any homework problems because we are discussing only that exponential function and the logarithmic functions only curve and properties definition only so tomorrow you will get a homework problems but yesterday we gave two homework problems yesterday homework problem and previous day homework problem also also so you please complete all the homework problems okay yeah this is our first slide this is our second slide third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one ninth one if you want eighth one you please take it this is ninth one this is the last one okay so please try to complete the homework problems and uh, study for that uh, third chapter matrices coming sunday coming saturday we have a test in that matrices 20 to 30 mcqs with the negative marks also okay right so if you have any doubt in your homework problems or class work problems or any other problems you send it we will discuss in our class okay thank you all thank you so much thank you thank you all